Hello and welcome to a quick introduction to PACE version 30. My name is Sebastian Forlander. I'm a product manager at EFI PACE and today I would like to show you all you need to know about the new user interface in PACE version 30. The first topic that I would like to go over today is the new menu. The blue pill in the top left hand corner has been replaced with a menu bar here at the left hand side. And this menu bar gives you access to all the modules right away. So you don't have to open the first level of the menu hierarchy first, but you can get access to those things directly. You can expand the menu when you click these arrows down here. And this also shows the different module names. When you click into a menu, you will see the second level opens right here. And right after that, all the other sub-levels below the second level show in one big screen. This gives you a much better overview and you don't have to remember all the different sub-menus to find the commands that you need. The menu comes with an additional power feature and that is the menu search. Whenever the menu is open, you can just start typing on your keyboard so for example, if I just type add customer or add C here, it shows me add customer right here. It um, also suggests similar things that you might want to access. And it highlights reports in a different color, in a purple color, so that you can clearly distinguish reports versus other forms in the menu search. In the top right hand corner, you see three new buttons. One is for notifications, one is for accessing the help, and the third one is for password changing and logout. Look further down the screen, the next element that has changed in the new user interface is the breadcrumb bar. The breadcrumb bar right here gives you direct access to the parent elements of the form that you're looking for. And just click on this link here to get to this parent page. You also notice we have added some new icons for the most important actions. So you will see a plus icon for an add new. You will see this door icon that gets you to the detail form. You will see the list icon and the duplicate icon. And sometimes there are additional buttons like this one here that give you access to special commands uh, for this area. Then you see there is three headlines now, three columns. One is for actions, one is for view and one is for reports. Going one more level down, you see the button bar. The first button is the one that is the most obvious action that is highlighted uh, with a blue color. And then you see all the other buttons that give you direct access to the most important commands. And next to that, you see the overflow button, which gives you access to everything else. When you scroll down the page, you will notice that the buttons will stay on top of the page even when you scroll further down so that you can access them always. The same is true for the tabs, which are also always visible. When we look down the screen a little further, you see we made some changes to drop down lists. Looking at this customer field, for example, you will notice that the customer number and the customer name are now merged into one field. And when you click this, you can see uh, there is a search area on top of the drop down list. And if you type in that list, you will notice that this will narrow down the list and only suggest such records that have this search string in either the name or in the customer code. Then you notice here that the status adds colors. If you open this, you see there are different colors that you can assign to different statuses that give you a very nice visual overview about the status of a certain estimate or job. Size is now show in one combined field for the length and the width, and they are unit of measure aware. So this shows eight by 12 inches, but if you like, you can put different units in here. So you could even use metric units and put 20 centimeters here. And here you say, I want to show this in feet and not in inches. So you type one feet and Pace will remember this and display the size in the very way that you entered it. Let's have a look into grids. At a lot of grids, you see there are these buttons at the top of the screen that are called column sets. And clicking these buttons, you can toggle between the different column sets. And that means you can look at the same data 
from different angles or different perspectives. So for example, here I look at the finishing operation and first I see general information. Then I can look at time and material information like make ready hours. And I can look at additional information like the number across, the number staggers, the number along. And I can also just look at everything and all together in one big grid that contains all the different columns. But especially with grids that have a lot of data, this view helps you to focus. Some grids have this add row feature where you can add a new line right in the grid. And when you use those, using them with a keyboard is much easier now because when you tab through the grid, it gets focused on this add row button at the bottom. And when you enter, you can just start typing another line and it will add this new line right away without even touching the mouse. Grids and estimating are now editable and you can edit your values right here and you don't have to go into the detail form. If you do that, you notice that a calculated value is indicated with a green sidebar. And if you change a value in that field, you will notice that this bar turns to purple. If you work on an estimate with multiple quantities, you will also notice a little dot in the corner of your values. This little dot indicates that this field that you look at has a different value at other quantities. So if you change it here, your change will affect not only this quantity that you look at, but also all the other quantities. And when I update this estimate, you see this red dot has gone because it's now the same value for all quantities. If you want to have more control about the values for different quantities, then uh, you can go into the regular form that gives you a direct overview about all the different quantities and there you can define your values for every quantity separately. Face version 30 also comes with new list forms. When you scroll through a long list, you will notice that the column headers will stay on top of the page so they can always see the headline as you scroll through the page. You will also notice that there is less clutter and icons only show when you hover over the elements that are linkable like this. Lists come also with colored status fields and you notice there is an icon change. So to go into an element, you now click the open door icon instead of the magnifying glass. The three dots icon gives you access to the context menu. If you want to change a pay station, you find the change settings below this gear wheel here. And if you want to export, your export settings are under this Excel export button. If you want to learn more about the new user interface in Pace Version 30, I recommend to go to the help menu and then enable the help tips. The help tips will guide you through all the changes that we made to the user interface and highlight them and explain what they do. And you can just go and click through them and it will give you a nice interactive tour about everything that you need to know about the user interface. I hope you enjoy the new features that come with Pace Version 30. Thanks for watching and goodbye.